I have a list here of some red flag jobs and women. Hairstylist. <gasps> oh. You're not a hairstylist, but right? But I do hair. You do hair, but you're not a hair. You don't cut hair. No, I don't See, cut the, hair. See, the, the ones that... Uh, it's a bit... Like you're a female on the barber. Fence. Is, what, is that what no, you're no, talking no, about? No, no, no. Like... Uh, like, just hair, the, like, what, she cuts hair. like what is the background she between hard? cutting she, hair? She's cut, she, she gonna cut his hair off. Any, like, <laughs> no, just like, like, cause I'm you crazy. doing men's you hair. You crazy? No, 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 not you. Just like, as a woman, if you if you're hairstylist, you're just crazy. Why do you think that? It just it's like an it's a thing because hairstylists, women who cut hair, have to listen all day to other women complaining to them. Not always. No, when I well when I do hair. I don't, I'm not really, hmm. like, we talk. Like, we're, we're going to talk. We're yeah, going to pull not, up conversation. You don't cut hair. That's the thing. That's the difference. Having a job but you're women saying, like, complain to them all day. What's right, that? you're to saying, like, we're listening to what, women what's complain. Wrong with I'm listening a job where women complain to them all day. Why, why does that make it a red flag? It's like being a therapist. It's, right. Uh, or a doctor. <laughs> I think a job where people complain to you all day has to be taxing to some degree. It's not always Honestly, complaining. Honestly, I don't think people are talking, like, just from my experience from like Braden or whatever like y'all never it, heard of this no like Do you complain to your barber no right so why would you yeah. think somebody is complaining to happy yeah it's yeah, mostly it's happy like especially especially if i don't know you and i just booked you for the day and i'm trying to see how for you're real. you do it i'm not telling you my deepest darkest secrets I think, yeah. that's, that's I think fine. it's more like but the i'm talking about the why would you bring i feel like that's I more where it, we i like feel like it goes both ways because either way i'm providing you that service whether i'm cutting your hair braiding your hair putting a wig on you're gonna talk to me because you're in my chair for so right. many, so mm -hmm. so okay, cool. long. Whatever you do, it's a red flag. <laughs> but what? So so <laughs> no, it's, it's, a red flag. Flag. it's a hairstyle, like gentlemen. But I'm I'm not I'm not mad at you. I'm no, just trying fine. to re, I'm just trying to rebuttal it. Like you're not unless you're you got a real bond with that person. Like you've been going to this person for years. I'm just saying it's a red flag. You can try to you can you can try to. I don't yeah. think so. So is like it's a, a nail flag. nail style. Yeah, like a nail tag. Nail tag. So they are they eyelash extensions? I think is that any, on your list? I think anybody who's kind of in like the beauty industry, it's a little, you know, it's a little mm -hmm. like makeup, like a makeup artist, red flag, big red flag, <laughs> hair, like someone who cuts hair. You guys have never heard no. this thing of, Not the of women who, who no. cut hair. It's it's like, be careful of like, hairdressers. What I'm thinking of it is just different how you explained it. I'm like, saying, if I'm saying hmm. how I was thinking about it, because I'm a, you said women, I'm like, oh, because she's cutting men's hair, she's getting men attention, but you went no, like no. completely a All different way. No, yeah. it's not. It's no, it's not even that. It's not you, like, like the whole complaining women, thing. Women I who don't, cut women's hair, that shit's a red flag. Trust me on this. Trust me. I got some more. I got some more jobs okay. for you. Works in HR. That. <laughs> what the. What? If she works in HR, HR is where humanity goes to die. I will say like, HR is the most they really toxic. Really it is, really, it is the most toxic. That's 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 they don't care about shit. you. That's HR. Place. I agree with you. They'll be like, we agree with you, but because of company policy, Fuck this is why we have to let you go. They're very, <laughs> they're very like, even outside. Like I dated a chick who w worked in HR. Never fucking again. She was super feminist. Just like. Yeah very like oh very triggered and offended by everything uh so hr is bad flight attendant uh-uh mm. i can understand mm. that flight attendant yeah, flight one they're gone the time, two they yeah. fuck like a lot <laughs> every city they're in they're you know no i actually i can i can yeah. agree on that because i work at an airport and the stories between you like you do hair in an airport no huh <laughs> no you hair is my side hair, hair, hair is airport. my side job okay oh what's your main job i work at an airport what what do you do I'm, I'm like customer like i'm the person who are scans you, customer service are you, and i'm at the ticket county southwest. like i'm 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 checking you Spirit, in or i'm like, no Spirit, no flight. no southwest delta Delta. Delta. Nice. I'm flying like Delta huge tomorrow. <laughs> what? <laughs> Put me somewhere good. No, we love we love when you guys come through. Um, Wait, huh? Like Australia. What do you mean? No, 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 like like when <laughs> people racist. come through. <laughs> No, what? Well, but I'm saying but no. You're saying fly the tent. But I'm saying like I work at an airport, so yeah. the stories that go on between like the pilots and the flight attendants is crazy, and the yeah. pilots they don't care who you are. They're just trying to they're just trying to smash. In I have, for real? like, in the cockpit. No, Wait, like, Kelly, we're in that? wherever in they... In the cockpit? 
I don't uh, know about the cockpit, but wherever they land, and then also it's like they they flirt with the us. They flirt with the customer service, like the yeah. people who are supposed to be scanning the people on. They're flirting with us. I've had so Shoot. many. Um, it goes down the airport, huh? It goes down in the airport, and they have their own, and they have their own little lounge. Oh, in the airport, like while they're waiting on their flight to come in, so they could go. Like they have their own little lounge. Here's, um, here's what's look. Here's what's going through my head when it comes to <laughs> flight attendants. How many cities have you been to? Because here's the thing. Oh, no, like, I'm not a flight like, attendant. No, no, no. I'm not talking oh. about you. I'm just saying like one of the reasons why I think it's a red flag if a woman's a flight attendant and as a dude, I don't think you should date a flight attendant. How many cities have you been to? How many cities have you spent yeah, the night it's in? A, it's, a, like, you, it's, a on, it's not on call, but it's like you have a whole schedule planned out already. And at any minute, they can call you in and be like, we need you to stand in. So you can... You're in, oh, say your okay. in flight might be LA, but last minute they can't sure. find a flight attendant. You're going to Mexico or something. It's, it's not to. even so much about them being gone. It's about like, okay, cause I've been, I'm not on dating apps anymore, but I used to. And like, I would match with flight attendants and they wanted to meet. And I'm That's like, you day. gotta be doing this shit in every single city you're in. You're fucking a new dude. Every single city. How many cities are you in in a year? Everyone in all those cities are seeing her Tinder too. But no, it's an hour cap. So huh? like it's a they have certain amount of hours, so they can't like what that they can fly. They just can't be in the air. They just all can't day. be in the air. <laughs> it's like a a labor law. Like they get capped out at so many hours. Well, that makes right, sense. but what? Well, okay, but and most of them stay domestically. So most most flight attendants they might well, just be from international travel nurses or not nurses uh flight attendants you know look they're in a new city they're always in a new city i'm just saying they they'd be fucking in the new city i'm not i'm not disputing i'm just uh travel nurse it's like a nurse but even worse <laughs> like oh, we get a, a we get a lot of those too. travel travel nurse because they they're on assignment they're in a fucking city making a shit ton of money for three months they want some dude, and so they've been to they've they've been on assignment in twelve different cities. They done had fucked a bunch of like a dude in every new city. Travel nurses, watch out, gentlemen. Be careful, gentlemen. Uh, basically, any career where she travels frequently, obviously, sex worker, major red flag. Sorry, Christy. It's okay. I would I would never gets, date you ever in my life. So that's I'm cool. Fine I don't date that. sluts, so it's all good. Yeah, I don't date guys that don't pay for the first date. I I don't. That's <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I mean, I know everyone on the table wouldn't. Brian, you wouldn't really hard with that. She, she, yeah, she, you guys, yeah, if you don't pay for the first date, you're like, 